Hey everybody, it's Craig with Smartphone Envy, and today we're going to have a face-off between two AT&T smartphones, both running Windows Phone 7, the HTC Surround and the Samsung Focus. Both offer quad-band GSM as well as tri-band 3G. HTC Surround weighs in at a pretty hefty 165 grams. It's got a nice metal rim, encompasses the entire display. Battery cover itself is made out of a rubberized plastic. In typical HTC, you've got a nice texture coating along the sides and back. Nice little chrome accent over the cover as well as the HTC logo. A nice little chrome piece or accent on the micro, SD, micro USB port as well as the dedicated camera key. Taking a look around the surround, on the bottom is the microphone as well as the micro USB port. On the right hand side, dedicated camera key and volume rocker. On top is the power and lock key as well as the 3.5mm headphone jack. Now the surround gets its name by sliding up on the back of the handset. You'll open up a couple of speakers that offer SRS surround sound. Got a nice little power key up here in the upper left hand corner as well as a kickstand on the back for watching Netflix movies. Netflix application is pre-installed by AT&T on the surround. Alright, Samsung Focus weighs in at 119.4 grams, so it's considerably lighter. One reason it's so light is it's made out of high-grade plastic. You've got a metal rim that encompasses the majority of the phone on both the side and top. The back itself is a rubberized plastic. It's actually a very dark gray with very narrow black pinstripes. You've got a nice metal accent here around the camera. Also got a chrome accent on the volume rocker as well as a dedicated camera key and power and lock key. Taking a look around the focus on the bottom is the microphone, dedicated camera key, power and lock key on top, 3.5mm headphone jack along with the micro USB port. Forgot to mention you've got a nice little chrome look on the door as well and then the volume rocker. Let's talk a little bit about cameras. The HTC Surround is a 5 megapixel camera. LED flash geotagging video capture is 720p. The Samsung Focus again has a 5 megapixel camera with autofocus LED flash and geotagging. Also offers a couple other features such as smile detection as well as image stabilization. And again, image video capture is 720p. Battery on the Samsung Focus is a 1500 milliamp battery rated at 6 hours and 30 minutes of talk time on 3G. On the HTC Surround, it's a 1230 milliamp battery, only rated at 4 hours and 10 minutes of talk time on 3G. Samsung Focus has a micro SD card slot. The battery does not need to be removed to replace or exchange a micro SD card on the Samsung Focus. Let's take a look at the displays. HTC Surround is a 3.8 inch LCD capacitive touch display showing 480 by 800 pixels. Offers multi-touch accelerometer sensor as well as a proximity, proximity sensor. Easy for me to say. Just below the display you have three touch sensitive keys, Bing search, main menu, excuse me, home and back key. All right, on the Samsung Focus, you've got their 4-inch Super AMOLED capacitive touch display showing 480 by 800 pixels. Offers multi-touch accelerometer sensor as well as a proximity sensor. And again, it has the three typical Windows Phone 7 touch sensitive keys below the display, the Bing search, home, and back key. Memory on the HTC Surround, you've got 16 gigabytes of internal storage, 448 megabytes of RAM, 512 megabytes of ROM. Samsung Focus has 8 gigabytes of internal storage, 512 megabytes of RAM along with 512 megabytes of ROM. Memory can be expanded an additional 32 gigabytes through the use of a micro SD card. Both of the phones offer Wi-Fi 802.11 B, G, and N. Both of them have Bluetooth version 2.1 with support for A2DP. Both of the phones offer GPS with support for AGPS and come with Bing Maps. Neither phone can be used as a Wi-Fi hotspot out of the box. Both of them use the Qualcomm Snapdragon QSD 8251 GHz processor. Obviously the operating system is Windows Phone 7. The surround has what's called HTC Hub, which we'll take a closer look at. And the focus has what's called Samsung Now. And again, we'll take a closer look at that as we go through the user interface on our face-off. Right, let's do our YouTube comparison. We'll also compare the uh, SRS speakers versus the uh, Samsung stock speaker that comes with the handset. They're both running off the same Wi-Fi network. Both of them have their brow, the displays turned up as bright as they will go. Let's kick this off. Hey, what's up you guys? Yes, I am at home right now. 
right now. I'm at mom's house, and nothing says mom's house like beautiful smelling roses. Cactus, That's the phone SpongeBob speaker. Pen, SpongeBob coffee mug, SpongeBob cocoa mix, and a decapitated head. And there's your surround speaker. Oh, there's no place like home. So there's two reasons why I'm doing Ask Shane from home. First reason They're both volume-wise, both set at 25. What's up, you guys? Yes, I am at home right now. I am at mom's house. And nothing says mom's house like beautiful smelling rose. See, but trust me, it's wet out there. Wetter than Oprah's vagina when McDonald's announced to make ribs back. Uh-oh, that wasn't age appropriate. Anyway, let's go back and run another one and see if I can make this into something that makes sense. I think there's music or something on this one. That was pretty close. Nice reflection of the uh, smoke detector. Uh-oh, more inappropriate language. Anyway, hopefully that, you know, I don't know if that worked or not over the uh, the speaker in the, uh, or the microphone in the camera. But anyway, there was a look at the surround speakers, difference in sound, the SRS versus the stock uh, phone speaker, as well as load times and video quality on a couple of YouTube videos. All right, so our navigation comparison. Now, we're not going to get voice-guided turn-by-turn navigation unless you're willing to pop for $9.99 a month for AT&T Navigator. So we're just going to run this through Bing Maps. And I should have Starbucks on both. God knows I'd never be able to find it on my own. And it looked to me as if the surround brought up the route a little bit quicker. And then again, you just tap on these as you go through them and it moves you around the map and if you want to get rid of the directions on the front simply hit the back key. Now let's take a look at AT&T Navigator because I do have it loaded or active on this on the focus just to show you how it works if you want to spend a nine bucks. Go to search and we'll hit Starbucks. And it helps if I spell it right. S T Hooters, I like that. I don't I haven't been there, but anyway, we got it. All right, and we'll pick it. Ask for directions. New route. Go point one miles and turn right to Kingstone Court. Checking route for traffic. All right, and there's a look at AT&T Navigator on the Samsung Focus.